I have a 4x2 John Deere trail gator and the carb has be flooding the spark so it can't ignite and I don't know what to do. Hi, my name is Tu for letting me try and assist you with your problem. Has the unit ran recently and this is just something new that started or do you have any more history leading up to this that you can share? The gator has been sitting for about three years. But before it stopped working it was always consistent. And about three weeks ago I started fixing it up. And this is one of the issues I recently ran into. Okay that makes pretty good sense. Here's the thing. Two things can cause your engine to flood. One is the float setting in the carburetor. There's a point where the float lifts up and pushes against the needle valve and shuts off the flow of gas into the carb. If the float isn't set right it will not stop the flow of gas. Another thing is there's an air vent to the float bowl that's built into the body of the carb. If that's plugged by a bug or some mud or something like that it will also flood. So unfortunately I would have to say you need to take the carb back off. And check the float level and vent. Here's a generic diagram to help explain how to set the float. You want the base of the float to be parallel to the body of the carb with the carb just a little past 90 degrees. Give that a shot and let me know if you need more help. Is there anything I can clarify for you at this point? My goal is to have you as a satisfied customer here. I notice you rated my help as poor. So I want to know what I can do to improve your impression of my help. Sorry I didn't mean to clear poor at all. But the vent is clear on it and the float is on a huge so it can't be adjusted and the needle is in place. I'm not sure what you mean. The float is on a huge so it can't be adjusted. Sorry I meant a hinge. Yeah in the middle of that hinge right above the needle there's a tab that pushes against the needle. You bend that tab to adjust where the float sits. So I should try to adjust it up then allow less gas or what? Yep. Since the vent is clear you just need to set the float so it shuts off the flow of fuel into the bowl sooner. That will stop it from flooding into the carb than the motor. I remove the float and I can't find the tab. The tab is the part of the float that pushes against the needle and pushes it up into the seat. Here's a pick. So the tab should be right by the needle and spring. Yeah. Look at the part of the float that moves back and forth as the float pivots on its hinge. The tab is the part in the middle of the float that actually touches the needle. No other part of the float touches the needle. This isn't your float but here's a picture of a similar float pointing to the tab. Yeah I can't find that all on my float I see is the float itself with the needle and spring. Do you have your model number? I'll see if I can dig up a diagram of your carb so we're not looking at generic pictures. No I don't all I know is it's 90s Trail Gator 4x2 but the product ID is W004x2 by 051330. Does this look like your carb? Yes sir. Is your float brass or plastic? Plastic and it only has the needle attached. Okay that explains it. The plastic floats don't have the metal tab. I'm sorry I should have asked that earlier if you had plastic or brass. In this case there's nothing you can do with what you have. To save yourself any further headache the best remedy is a new carb. 
The second best which I don't really recommend considering the importance of the part is getting a rebuild kit and a new float. That of course is your decision. Here's some info to help you though. The part number for a new carb is AM128892 there's a new one on eBay for about $183. Plus shipping the part number for a carb kit is AM119040 goes for about $20 the part number for a float is AM123559 goes for about $45. So you're sure it's just the carb for sure? Well, we took that path on the lead I took from you saying the carb was flooding the motor. Considering it ran fine prior to being parked it's not likely it's another issue. However, I've seen some strange things. A mouse nest in the exhaust or airbox will keep a motor from running because it can't breathe. So make sure that's clear. Make sure you have spark by laying the spark plug on the top of the engine while plugged into the spark plug wire and crank it over while watching the tip of the plug for spark. These motors loosing compression is pretty rare so that's more than likely not an issue. If you don't have a gauge you can borrow one at most auto parts stores. You thread it in the spark plug hole and crank over the engine until the gauge stops going up. 100 pounds per square inch or more is good. So if you have compression, spark, and the intake and exhaust is clear then yes absolutely I would say the carb is 100% the problem. Yeah there's a brand new air filter and there is spark I've checked that. But I've had a friend check the compression he said it's okay because we opened the spark plug area and it had some force and sprayed some out every time. But every time I turn it over gas always flows out of the intake. But I can get that compression just in case. I would recommend it. It's extremely rare for the compression to be bad. But it's better safe than sorry. Okay awesome will do. The spark was blue yesterday but was orange today does that mean anything? Not really. Blue is perfect but orange will still work just fine. Is there any way I can get it back to blue? I was thinking it might be orange because I've tried to start it more than a handful of times. It could simply be orange because the spark plug you're using has been fouled several times with gas. So it could be as simple as a new plug but that's a waste of money at this point. It will run just as good with blue as it will with orange spark. Oh okay well perfect haha ha. I wish we could have had a cheaper route but guess it's never as easy as you would like. Yeah but that unit is still worth pretty good money even if you have to put a few hundred bucks into it to get it running. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.